we get for our missed Mr. Adeshino Adewumu. You're very much welcome, uh, very welcome, sir, by the way. Thank you very much. Good morning to oh. our listeners. Okay, um, amazing, amazing thing you've been doing out there. I'm now the CEO of One Kiox Africa. Um, fantastic thing you've been doing out there as regards um, fundings and um, entrepreneurs. Now, and we don't reason the matter. Say in Nigeria right now, we get very, very poor credit facility. And as we get poor credit facility, we get um, a lot of players in the financial um, sector. And um, a lot of some of all these companies say, don't they come up? Um, a lot of these loan, loan companies. But despite all of that, we still get poor credit facility. Meaning, say, people, um, entrepreneurs, maybe say, um, they, they work their self out for, 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 for the field. Um, they find out they, find out they very, very difficult to get access to say, okay, they won't get a loan to make sure, say, they scale their business from point A to point B, or some people even they try using grants. People will never even get a loan. <laughs> I go use get grants. So if you receive the matter from inside this kind of country, what in exactly be the problem? Here you go talk, say, why be it this difficult for entrepreneurs to access credit for inside our economy as a people? So the opportunity is actually quite wide. Um, according to the International Finance Corporation, okay. there's actually a huge gap of over 158 billion in the US dollars opportunity market, mm -hmm. with over 18 million micro, small, and informal businesses who are struggling to access finance. Okay. Typically, the challenge is you know, spread across three major points. Okay. The first is most of them do not have sufficient data to be able to reference okay. to be able to assess this credit mm. and even when they have access to data they actually do not have you know the required collateral okay so most of the traditional you know financial institutions would want you to actually have collateral before they can give you any form of credit or the other most of the fintechs who are also growing right now are also tweaking a bit to that trend but we have some exceptional fintechs who are actually you know, shifting their gaze from just collateral mm. to actually capacity and character. And I think this is actually the, the right way to go. The last part of it is actually um, people not being able to be able to confidently back up their numbers, their projections, and what they would actually use the funds for. If you notice the trend, you would have seen that a lot of people who are able to do these three things are able to secure finance. So if you they able to make sure say you get collateral um, as regards making sure say okay the loan way they collect you get assets to back them up as regards say okay they won't get back their loan and all if you default and then um, people will be say get the, the 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 strength of whatever they are, they are doing their industry they based on their character you don't check their track record as regards say okay um, businesses will be say they don't they do in the past how have they been handling it and, and how they how they have social character be and also you don't talk say okay as regards um, different things we say they need to point pinpoint their data and um, their numbers um, if you look all these all these factors we say you don't highlight some entrepreneurs day for this country we say don't tick all those boxes trust me the day they don't tick the box of collector some some people did they don't tick the box of character some people did they don't tick the box of their numbers getting all of that right but if they walk into the bank any commercial bank or any credit facility for inside this country trust me they know will give them these loans we say they request for um, beyond just ticking all those boxes within exactly the fee do and exact and uh, another thing we say we need to find out we say how the fee use position themselves so people talk say okay if you win for inside the dark you know go you know, they no go see you with how the fees position themselves to make sure say they access these loans so um you get one to the way people they talk yeah. say if you sell yourself well people will follow you if you don't sell yourself people no go follow you the business space is quite huge with a lot of people competing, especially with our Nigerian population of over 200 million people. Mm. So if you actually stay behind the scene, nobody knows you, nobody would even discover you to even come to finance you. Yeah. This is one major thing that you must always sell yourself. As a CEO of, or a founder or an entrepreneur, you must make sure that you sell and celebrate every milestone of what you're doing and showcase it. It's just quite funny that, you know, some of your friends don't even know what you do, mm. you know, or even people within your inner circle don't know what you do. How much more those that actually have the funds to be able to give? So you need to always position yourself so that people can know what you do, what you sell. And the truth is that not everybody is the right fit, especially not all financial institutions are the right fit for you. There are some businesses that some financial institutions will never fund. You need to take advantage of the growing population of the fintechs who are trying to drive financial inclusion. We have a lot of them. Um, I, I can mention some names. We have 
trade lender. We have several okay, other so people Okay, so basically, like that. Uh, I know, before you start mentioning some names, um, more going to the foreign direct investment, we see they come into this country um, as at... This, as at this time, and we get nothing from just January, enter this time, we get nothing less than 412 billion we don't come in as regards fundings. But then if you reason the matter, you will know, say, some people, they talk, say, oh boy, so these people, they're very, very partial as regards the industry where these funds they go into. Some people talk, say, a lot of these funds, they go into the um, fintech industry. If you know go fintech, you go go agrotech. What exactly go happen to, what do they happen to the pharmaceutical industry? What they happen to different industry, textile, fashion, all of all those industries? Are we developing one industry at the expense of the other? How do you feel you um, reason the matter as regards that in just a few seconds? So the truth is, everybody they go where everybody they go, especially people with no road. Those people they follow people with no road. Follow so no if road. people with no road, they go fintech. Everybody go follow fintech. However, the truth is that you know we need to pay attention to other segments and other sectors. You know, and I think the other sectors also need to position and sell their market and sell their sectors, especially the, the, the sector leaders. They need to sell those sectors well to the international community, to the people who are actually bringing in foreign investment. That way people can actually see the value in those sectors and then also embrace it. Okay, so you don't talk to me, they sell out their sectors and their industry very well, especially those people with the helm of affairs for that industry. In just one sentence, what exactly they happen? Knowing fully well, say we get pro credit facility in this country. Do you think it's a part of the government? Do you think it's a part of the investors or you think it's not a part of the entrepreneurs? Okay, so governments, you know, suppose create enabling env environments. And once these policies are in place, then foreign investors would definitely come. Like, for example, we have our president right now going to Dubai to actually showcase, you know, the continent, you know, the strengths, the wins, and all that. That is how most economies are supposed to actually, you know, move. And I think this is actually in the right direction to drive these people to come embrace Africa, to come embrace Nigeria. And I think for the entrepreneurs, they need to continue to position themselves. The truth is fundraising across the world is difficult, not just Nigeria, especially with a population of 200 million. So if you look at 200 million, yes, we're doing four, over 4 billion you know, uh, investment, but it's still a very small segment. Mm. So you need to position yourself to be among that small segment that receives that fund. Thank you very much, Mr. Adeshino Adeumi. Thank you very much for coming to our famous couch. Thank you. Um, you don't hear, I mean, don't talk to you, okay, you need to tick several boxes. No, if you look well, say, after you don't tick all those boxes, you also make sure, say, um, you make sure, say, you, you hold your, you, you, you tighten your seatbelt as regards the business where you do. Sell your market out there so that you go feel, you go feel attract investors. Because if you win for inside that, nobody will see you. My name is Nafagba Frank. And if you catch me across all social media platforms, we will continue the conversation on top of your money, your business, and the, on the economy at Fagba Frank. We don't got time. The good morning Nigeria show continues. No go anywhere because <laughs> we get a lot to dish out to you guys.